everybody. I thought I'd do another video of another product that I have acquired. Uh, something to help with, you know, videoing our ventures outdoors. And, uh, of course, you've seen the videos. We all got new ladder stands. Uh, trophy tree stand Samson ladder stands. We've got those up. But uh, my original tree stand is still in its location. I'm in a new location now. I'm uh, going to try it out. So, my camera arm is at my other tree stand, which I'm not totally abandoning. Uh, so, I had to come up with something. So, I've done some research. Uh, the camera arms uh, that we use, uh, they're low end, real low end. I can't even remember the name of them. There was only like $30. Uh, but they've done a good job for us. Uh, I have had some issues with them, but come across this, and I decided, well, I'm going to get one. Got a new tree stand, I'll get a new camera. And this is what I got. A muddy, hunt hard game camera arm. Okay. So, I'm going to do a little unboxing of what's in here, let you see. Uh, I'm going to look around the yard to see if i got a tree that I can put this in. Uh, most of my trees are large diameter that I have in the backyard, so I don't know if I can actually get this set up. I'll just have to look around and see if I've got a tree that's small enough diameter uh, to put it up and show you. But let's get it in the box and let's see what we've got. Stay tuned. Okay, let's see what we've got in this box. Let's the old trusty knife out and get it opened up. I haven't even opened this box. So, first time I'm going to see what's in it. Okay. Here's the camera arm. And of course, I think you can adjust this up. It's got a very thick rubber or plastic washer. It's got a bubble level right there. What I like about this is you can actually bring this out of the woods with you. I may have to loosen that up. I hear it making noise. But when it goes all together, if I can get it up on a tree, uh, we should know more about it. Of course, my ring is hitting it. But uh, it uh, feels like it's aluminum. It's square tubing. Got a slot here at the top, if you can see. That's where the camera head part will go up. We've got two bags here. Let's see what's in this bag. I think this is your mount. It goes on the tree. There's your ratchet strap. My gosh, it's a heavy duty ratchet strap. My other camera arm I don't think has a ratchet strap that heavy. There's the mount that goes against the tree, and it's got a leveling screw right here. Got four points of contact. This will go around the tree, and it's got a little, this is just looped in, as you can see here, into this slot. And over here, the ratchet strap goes around, and I can see it on the strap here. It's got a loop right there that would hook into that and you cinch it up around the tree. Okay, we'll lay this out of the way. And here, this is the extension. I'm going to take it apart. This is where your camera would screw on. Or not the camera, but your head. And it's got a uh, carriage bolt. It's got this big stud on it. 
and see how it goes together. Okay, now that's on there. And this piece, now this is steel. It's not uh, aluminum. And it's got two notches in it on the sides, if you can see them. Right here, where you can hook a wrench on it to tighten it down. Right now, I'm just going to hand tighten it. So we got that on there. In this bag, is a fluid head, supposedly. There's a handle. Oh, look here, got a muddy sticker. The instructions. And here's the head. Of course, I hadn't even looked at the instructions, but like I said, I've seen reviews of this already. So here's your head, and it comes. This has got a removable um, uh, camera base goes in there, so you could leave the whole arm in the tree if you wanted to. This here is your tilting handle. goes on. Oh, and this thing also tilts over. I don't know if you've seen that. I'm not watching the camera. But it's got this little wing nut right here. Loosen that up and the head will tilt over to the side. Lay it back down. Tighten that back up. Okay, so this would screw on to here. And it does have a nice This tilt is nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Don't feel no jerk action. And there's a there's a loosening knob here. I'm sure if you tighten that down, then it won't move as easily. You loosen it up. Do your camera left and right. That must this must be for turning it. Yeah. Because there it tried to unscrew. Yeah, that's what that's for. You loosen that up so you can turn your head in any direction. This is your tilt. Now you can put this on to try to remember how it goes. I think there's an adapter you buy if you don't want this on here, but this is good so you can grab it like this to turn. And you got plenty of room for clearance of the head to turn. So let me go see if I can find a tree to mount this on. So stay tuned. Okay, I do have a tree I can put it against. So I'm going to mount this 
to this tree. I've already put the ratchet strap around it to cinch up the strap. Of course, this is a very, very large tree. First thing we'll do is just get it to bite into the tree. Okay. Now it's kind of bit into the tree, it's not level, so it will loosen it up a little bit. into the tree. Now you got the adjusting knob right here. We can make this level, but before I make it level, I'm going to hit and let it touch the tree. I'm going to get the camera arm and put on it. Okay, so there's the camera arm. Now I'm looking at the bubble level. Close to level already. Okay. Yeah. But here's the arm. Of course, here's the camera head. Turns around. You can grab it, swing it, however you need it to go. And then loosen that, tilt it. I'm going to get the camera, I'm going to put the camera on. Now this is, you know, I'm right handed, so this is where I'd have it, and it'd be in the tree where I'm at, of course it would be a little bit lower for me, just for this demo that I'm showing you. So it can, it can come all the way around here. But that's, I love the head on that thing. Now this, It really doesn't have any squeak to it, the more I work it. I guess where it's new, it's got to work out that. But let me uh, get the camera and put it on here. And I may go get another camera so you can see the camera on it. So stay tuned. Okay, I got another camera. My Sony camera. Attach this. It. So there you can see the camera. And here I am recording. You can see my Canon right there recording and like I said I can now it's bouncing because I'm touching it but if I grab it and move real smooth action you see the cats climbing the tree if I want to pan down crossbow target tripod Weiss rose roses. See 
say there's no noise at all to that hydraulic head, or fluid head, excuse me, not hydraulic. Of course, you might have heard that. That's me turning this arm. And as you can see, then I can bring it around. I'm just wondering if this camera picks up that noise. That bolt might have to be loosened. But like I said, I can pan this thing around like this. All the way around like that. Tilt it down. It's just real smooth, smooth, not a jerky action. Other than when I bump the the arm, but that's it. That is the uh, muddy uh, camera arm, and I got that from Amazon. And the price was let me turn this camera off. The price through Amazon. They were 51 10 a piece. I'll bring this over here. Let's see. It's got free delivery. But you can get that at Amazon. And uh, I think it's going to be a good addition to it. set up. Now, like I said, I, I like how smooth it is in this here. And then, you know, if you're done recording and you want to take this thing home, all you have to do is fold it up. pull it out and you can take your camera of course you wouldn't have your camera still on if you take your camera off but you can take that arm completely off just leaving the mount here on the turret and then you come back of course your camera wouldn't be on it and you come back and you put it back on it's that simple the ones we got now if you wanted to take the arm you got a little wing nut underneath it and a button and you have to slide the other arm out to take it home leaving one arm and the mount. I like this setup. I do wish it had three bars which I could probably make a bar to come out to give it you know, more uh, out away from me. But like I said this will set lower. I'm standing here by the tree and it's elbow height. I want, when I mount this, this will be mounted while I'm setting down to my right side to where I can control it, you know, by grabbing it and moving it, you know, loosen it up, tilting it down, panning around. So, just the weight of the camera is causing it to tilt, tilt down. And that's because I got this knob here loosened. See here. That's a fluid action. It's just slowly tilting. And of course, if I tighten it up, it ain't gonna move. And I can tilt it this way, tighten it up, and it's gonna stay there. So, yeah, this this is great. Uh, I like this. I'm anxious to get it in the tree during hunting season, try it out. But I wanted you all to see this. Uh, if you self-video your, your hunts, if you need a camera arm to have your tree stand. Uh, first few years we tried to do this, we just set the, tree, the camera in the tree stand with us and put something underneath it to prop it up to where it was aiming down where we was going to be shooting. 
you know, shooting lanes or whatever, and that's just no way to film your hunts. So you need a camera arm. And like I said, there are cheaper ones out there. The cheaper ones don't have a fluid head. So, uh, you know, and they're only, like I said, they're only, uh, the ones about the fluid heads are 25 30 $35. $51 to get one fluid head. Makes everything a lot better. So, Muddy uh, Hunt Camera Arm, I think is what it was called. Uh, so, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Share the video. We appreciate all of our fans who watch uh, our videos. Uh, so, just stay tuned for, for more J&J &J True Outdoor Adventures. We'll have more videos to come. Thank you.